the Ulefun Note 14 costs just round about $100 and gives you a lot of features like 4GB RAM, 16GB storage, support for two SIM cards with Android 12, front and back camera, and a nice battery. And with all of this, it just weighs around 189 grams, which really isn't a lot. But let us first have a look about the design of this Ulefone Note 14. The design on the front is really simple because you just have a small camera bump. So this isn't a circle which is cut out, but just a bump which goes like this and looks acceptable. I personally prefer if you have just a circle, but this is nice as well. And especially in this price point, it is really great because you don't have the big black border but just a small cutout for the camera. The design on the back is okay as well. I wouldn't describe it as great, especially the AI logo really doesn't sit well with me because they could have just put it away and make it a little bit smaller, but it is what it is. And the great thing is you can get three different colors and the button on the right side is really on a nice position to touch it. So functionality is great, design is okay, up to good. Especially the phone design is really good. The back design is so okay, but there's more to this phone. And now let's talk about the 4 GB RAM. This is enough and in most phones about this price range, you will find exactly those 4 GB RAM. The 16 GB storage is a little bit less than some other options because some other options can go up to 32 GB, but it's enough. And even after Android 12 is installed, you have 8 GB left, which you can use for your pictures or something like this. And which is really important here, you can upgrade it with an SD card to up 128 GB. There's another benefit as well of this phone. You get two SIM card slots. So if you have a SIM card for work and a SIM card for home, you can put both of those in there. The battery is okay as well. What I forgot to mention is the phone just weighs around 189 grams. So this means it doesn't really weigh that much. So they can't put the biggest battery in there. But 4,500 mAh is good enough and it will last you about six to seven hours if you use it moderately. Let's say you watch a video or you WhatsApp or make something like this. If you play a game, you get up to three to four hours, depending on how hard the game is and how hard it hits the CPU. But this is generally the range you can expect. The cameras are two, you get one on the back and one on the front. The eight megapixel back camera is a really acceptable camera. It's not the best, but it's good enough for most. This means you can make a great picture of a paper just to store it for later or you can make a landscape picture to show your friends later. Then there's the front 5 megapixel camera. You can't really expect the best here, and I would say the back camera is better than the front, because the front camera looks a little bit weird on your face, and especially if you don't have the best conditions, it won't look the best. But if you have good enough condition, let's say you are at home, and have your normal light from above, then it will be good enough to make a snapshot or something like that. Then we have the CPU, which is the MediaTek Helio A22. This is a four core CPU and it's good enough for the most basic tasks, which means you can watch videos with it, you can make WhatsApp with it, and you can play some light games. It won't be enough in more demanding games, but for the most tasks, it will be modern enough and good enough.